7 o'clock. It's Tuesday. Let's check it out, Tuesday. You are on Tamara's Paper Trawl. I am Tamara. Who are you? Give me a hidey ho. Let me know who's playing tonight. I'm all discombobulated. My background is a neon... No, it's psychedelic, like pinks and purples, and it is throwing me off my game. It's crazy, crazy. Oh, I forgot about these buttons. Thank you. Thank you. I made it on time. I think everything is working. The internet, I think, is up. Let me know. I got four eyes on me. There's Marcella. Hi, Marcella. Heidi ho. Heidi ho. Pardon me. I'm chewing a candy. I fancy the candy. So I'm having one. It's a lifesavers. I like lifesavers. You can stick your tongue in the middle. Hey, Tracy. Heidi ho. Happy Tuesday. So tonight, hopefully, is going to be a little bit uh, calmer than it was last night. Although I must admit, I might have watched the replay of last night's gong show twice. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. That was fun. It was a good laugh. I don't know. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Hope. Hi, Wendy. We're on time tonight. The internet is cooperating. All is well. What are we making? I hear you cry. Well, we'll find out together, won't we? <laughs> few ideas and then I mixed them and then hi Shayla and I thought you know what this was really quite rude to be eating a candy hang on I should uh tuck that away hi Donna hi Janet it was fun wasn't it Marcella if you can't have fun what's the point right it was a good time um you know what's coming down the line <laughs> I'm always that happy Shayla and always so serious <laughs> I have to get rid of this candy. You can't talk with candy in my mouth. Hi, Dana. How are you? Um, so what's happening in a few weeks? In a few weeks, it's Easter. Pardon me. I have an itchy nose. So we need to make Easter treats, don't we? <laughs> I laughed hard too, Janet. Right? That probably is what made you laugh so hard. I, um, yeah, that, that aggressive finger comment, um, that pushed me over the edge. <laughs> Ah, brandy. Love it. So we need to make some Easter treats, right? Hi, Mary. Yes, we do. Um, they're nice to have either to give to colleagues if you're working back in the office. They're good to have um, for the family. If you are if you have family over for Easter, you need, you know, you need a little something on their plate, right? A little name. Well, you don't need name tag holders, but, you know, a little treat for everybody. Hello, Valerie. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> under pressure, right? That's the only way I like to go. Hi, Rachel. Nice to see you. Thanks for Yeah, yeah, she is a sweetheart. She um, she was quite quite happy with the comments that she was the star of the show. So um, that was fun. Okay, I'm going to flip you over here. We have a lot of fun together, her and I. Although I'm still kind of, I, I did work out with her again today, which probably didn't, my, didn't do my back any favors again today. But yeah, what are you going to do, right? <laughs> So today it's nice. I can see the comments again. I can be a little bit more, a little bit more focused, not a lot more focused because that's not me. Hi, Donna. Hi, Liz. Um, so here's what I was thinking we were going to do. Tracy, I did it. I pulled it off. I was talking to Tracy at like 5, 5.30 going, I don't know what we're doing tonight. And I thought, oh, we should do an Easter basket. I haven't done one of these in donkey's years. So I just whipped this cute little thing up in literally about 15 minutes. Hi, Wendy. So I thought I'd show you, I'm sure you've all seen it before. Have you seen this one before? It's made out of a six by six piece of paper. And if you haven't seen it before, well, you're just going to be so excited about how quickly these come together. If you have seen them before, it might just be a good refresher and some measurements for you. And I just popped in mine. I've got a whole bag of shredding. Yeah, I do. Got a whole bag of shredding here. I just popped some of that in the bottom. And I found, this is probably three years old. I'm afraid to open it because like spiders might come crawling out of it or something. I always have a stash of different candy in my drawer that I'm afraid to eat now because I don't know how old they are. So that keeps me, uh, that keeps me from eating them. But just tuck them in and how cute is that on the, on the table or, you know, the kids can take it to their teacher. You could actually put it in one of our little cello bags. Um, I don't have one handy. Uh, match. Match. I don't. Um... 
Maybe I do. What are these? Were these the Chris? These were the printed gusset and cello bags. Do they fit in here? I don't know. But you could get a nice a nice bag from somewhere and see if it fits in here, so that your little eggs don't fall everywhere. I mean, maybe, probably not. Okay, maybe no. But I've got lots from the dollar place. They might be up there. But anyway, you know what I'm saying. You can get some bags. Um, let me see if it'll fit in here. It's just, it might, it might not. Probably not, because it's not gusseted. But anyway, you get the idea. You want to pop it in there so that the pieces aren't falling all over the place. So, hi, Marlene. Congratulations. Congratulations. Marlene, everybody. Oh, round of applause for Marlene, please. <laughs> Marlene just promoted to Bronze Elite. Yes, she did. She just got a raise to 25% instant income. She just got a 100 CSV bonus from Stampin' Up. She's going to get a pin. She's going to get a certificate. She's getting everybody's applause and admiration. And well done, Marlene. She joined in September. So she got um, just got the second quick start bonus. So fantastic. So uh, these little baskets. Yeah. Yay, nay. Have you made them before? Have you seen them? So easy. Great way to use up your six by six paper and you can crack off like a dozen of these in no time flat. All you need is your trimmer and a few little bits and bobs here and there and a six by six piece of paper. So our Simply Marvelous paper, uh, Easter or what? Total Easter colors. So I kind of fancy making a purple one. I want to make a purple one, even though my chick is going to be purple. But because this little guy, I just stamped him in pink. I'm like, let's not complicate it, ladies. Let's just keep it simple. Oh, do you want to see some other ideas? Okay, so there's lots of, I mean, we have so many bags and tags and cute things that we can make. Here's one that I made a couple years ago that I vowed never again because it was a pain in the sraka. It was a pain in the sraka. Seriously. Serious pain. This is what I did. Like I have a template and that's a lot of folding, scoring, cutting, taping. So anyway, cute as I'll get out, but never again. So I'm not going to show you how to make that one. But uh, our little mini curvy keepsakey things. Did this retire? I think it retired or it is retiring. I think it retired. I don't know. There's a bigger version too that retired ages ago, but it holds some chocolates. We have our little two by two acetate boxes. This is obviously a Christmas one, but all you have to do is throw some some stuffing on the inside, grab a strip of paper um, and wrap it around a bow and throw a couple eggs in there. Huh? Huh? Easy, easy peasy. We have so many great quick and easy um, gift ideas or little packaging ideas. This one we're going to make though ourselves with a six by six piece of paper. So I'm going to grab my scoreboard, my trimmer actually, and my thingy stylus because I don't know where the tip went. I still can't find it. My floor is completely clean. So it's in a bucket somewhere. It would have gone flying and I don't know where it went because my, my room has never been so clean. But anyway, I can't find my little scoring blade. So I like to use my uh, stylus. So this is a six by six piece of paper. Um, we have tons of six by six, but we also have lots of patterns that you could use in our regular designer papers, right? Like what we used last night. This would be cute for Easter. Um, we've got lots of different you know, yellows. This is from our host paper. We've got green. I mean, like, seriously, we're spoilt for choice on our designer papers. So use what you've got. We got it all. Cut it down to six by six and you're off to the races. So we're going to score it at two on all sides. So two. And you don't want to get all crazy. You don't want to push too hard. You don't want to tear your, um, tear your paper by pushing so hard. So just a little score line. I'm using the skinny end of my stylus. Hi, Elizabeth. How are you? There we go. Like that. Okay. We're going to fold on all the score lines. And then we're going to take our scissors and we're going to cut on two of the sides opposite of each other. So we're going to cut from the score from the fold up to the score line. Here and here and here and here. So here and here and here and here. Now, what you could also do is just put it back in your trimmer and you could use your cutting blade here. Stop when you get to the score line or when this gets to the two. 
All right, so that's cut to two. Move it over here. Oh, that really frayed my paper. Why did it fray it so badly? <laughs> Look at that. That didn't that didn't do well. Okay, that's a little terrifying. Anyway, we'll do it this way. Down to the two. I don't think I'm going quite far enough, but then I can move my scissors and do it. I'll get my scissors in there. And down to two. Right about there. Then I'll just go with my scissors and tidy it up a bit here. All right, so put that away. I did find, oh, this one's a little bit short, so I'll just go right up to the score line on this guy. Yeah, okay, don't know what I did there. That was a, a dodgy cut. Just get in my little sander, my little sanding block. Just kind of clean up that edge a little bit. Now, that is pretty much all the hard work. So what we're going to do, we've got these flaps. They're just going to fold over each other like this. And look, we've got a basket. Now, the tricky part is how far over do you do it? Do you do it tip to tip? I've seen some that are tip to tip. And that makes a smaller basket. By tip to tip, I mean these two tips. Let's go up to here. Are you going to focus for me? No? Okay. So you can go like that. You can make it, um, you know, longer if you go like that. But then you get these points. So I don't like these points. So if you have a corner rounder, I finally found my corner rounder. It was in my garage sale stuff, but it hadn't retired yet. But now it is retiring. So it's been in my retiring box for a year. And now that it's, now that I dug it out, it's retiring. But this is when you should have this triple, this triple punch. Because look what it does. So it's going to round your corners on all four of these corners. It's so easy. You just push down on the top of it. But there are also these other fancy little corner things you can do. So let me show you some of those. If only I had a piece of scrap paper somewhere. <laughs> All right, so this one, this is like a little flourish. So you just put it here, like in these, you can see these little guides here. This is a punch you really need. And I, didn't, I, don't, I didn't look that hard, but I'm trying to think of nothing really similar is replacing it. So that does one little cute flourish in the corners. This is great for um, a little hole that you could put ribbon through. So it's a handy little tool. Handy little tool indeed. So you can round your corners if you're going to go like this and if they're going to show you want them rounded. So I round them and then I've got options. All right and I think I like them fairly close to being on top of each other. But what I found in this last little basket was my little chicky, this circle that I used, almost didn't, I'm taking these, let's get rid of the candy here. This little circle only just barely covers this tip right here. I don't want that showing. So what I'm gonna do on this one is I'm actually gonna snip this off a little bit. I don't need that showing. So I'm just gonna hack it off so that when I cover it up, my circle's not going to, it's not going to show behind my circle. So I'm going to do the same thing here. The other thing you could do is just go like this, but then these are going to show, depending on how you're covering this up. All right, enough of that. Cut that off. Okay, so now we're just going to, you can use liquid glue. I don't like liquid glue. Who's got the patience to stand there and hold paper together? So I'm going to pretty much put my tips on top of each other, a little bit of a gap. So I'm going to put some tape here and here. I don't have to have a ton of it. And I only know not to put a ton of it because really I tend to move this about nine times before I decide it's actually where I want it. But I'm just, you can see, I'm just leaving a little bit of a little loop there. So same thing on this side. I'm going to put some tape here and some tape here. I don't really want to go too quick tonight because I don't know what I'm doing after this basket. <laughs> However, will I fill the time? Okay, so then again, I'm going to try to get it approximately the same as the other side. 
so you can see there. So it's up to you how, how wide you want your basket or how tight you want your basket. And then we're going to decorate it. So I like to use, this is a retired, a retired stitch shape circle. And it's a, just, a, it's about two inches. Actually, it's a lot. It's a two, it's two inches less two ticks. So it's one and seven eighths in grown up language. And so I punched out, or I cut out two of those because I want to cover up both sides. I don't, I don't want, but I've got lots of shh, stuff. Hey, like this wasn't a clean cut. So I'm just going to use my sander, sand that off like this. Little bits. Because I want to hide all those seams. Now, we need a handle. So I think I'm going to use Gorgeous Grape. Gorgeous grape, and then I'm going to sacrifice another piece of this purple marble stuff because I haven't even used a pack of this yet. I hang my head in shame. I actually, I think I only have two left in my garage sale. I had nine at one point. Um, okay, so I'm going to cut this uh, down to... Hmm, I want it a little bit longer. This one was just a little bit short for my liking. So I'm going to go with... This was six inches. I'm going to go with seven inches for this long purple strip. And it's one inch wide. This one looked a little thin. So I'm going to go with one inch for this one. I'm winging it as we go here. Um, now this one, it, we only have six inches, so it's going to be six inches by three quarters. And I'll see if I don't like this, I'll, I'll take it down, um, by a quarter inch. Well, let's see how this looks. And what I'm thinking is I'm going to tape this here and here. These parts won't be seen. This will be covered by our decoration. So I'm going to go with that. But I think that's a little wide. Tracy, did you say you prefer that? This is a, this is one inch. Does that look a little wide to you? Or does that look better than this one? I don't know. This one looks a little thin. I'm going to go with one inch. Let's try. And then we can compare them. Okay. So I'm going to tape this down. Uh, you could use gorgeous grape ribbon. Yes. I'm going to use that to tie a bow. But you could use ribbon. Absolutely. You bet. And hello, Barbara. Okay, so tape this down. I don't know, one inch looks really wide to me, but the recipient won't care, right? They'll be busy eating the chocolate. Okay, so now we have to attach the handle. I'm just going to curl it a little bit. Hi, Melanie. So I'm just going to use my bone folder to just kind of give it a bit of curl. You don't want it fighting against gravity to come apart from your basket. So you just... Gently curl it, break down those fibers a little bit, and then it'll stay. What's going on here? This thing's stuck everywhere. Okay, so like that. Now you have an option. You can put your basket handle on the inside or on the outside. Um, really doesn't matter. I tend to put it on the outside and then I can cover it with the circle. That's fine. You know, this is going to be covered with, the inside's going to be covered with your stuffing, but um, I'm going to glue it like that on the outside. So I think I am going to use glue. Three quarters. Yeah, that's what I, I know, right, Tracy? So that's what I was thinking too. Wanted a little bit sturdier. Just going to put some glue. This is the part I don't like because I have to hold it for a whole 30 seconds. Patience is not my gig, if you know me at all. And if you don't know me by now, right? that's my famous line with my husband. We're always saying that. Well, if you don't know me by now, and then we break into song. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Oh, no, Melanie. Kidney stones. Oh, no. Oh, I feel your pain, Melanie. It is worse. Than, it's worse than labor. It is worse than labor. So I don't know what I wish for you. If it's a kidney stone oh, or the appendix, uh, have them give you the good stuff, the morphine girl. And then you won't care. Honestly, I, I told them I wasn't leaving until they gave me the morphine. And then I left and I didn't care. Oh, you do eh, Tracy. Okay. So Tracy puts her, she puts them in between the flaps. Well, that would work too. Smarty pants. 
Well, mine's going to be hidden by my circle, so that would have worked as well. Now you tell me thank you. Ooh, Melanie. Yeah, forget bravery. Go, go for the drugs. Honestly, like, I threw up several times from the pain, and I've, I've not done that before. Oh, girl, I'm so sorry. But here you are in emergency watching me. <laughs> okay, you win the loyal, the most loyal viewer badge, okay? All right. And if it makes you feel any better, I mailed you the make and take stuff today for the team social. So you'll get that and that'll make you feel better. Okay, so then I'm going to have to put this a little bit higher just to make sure that that covers there. And then this one's going to have to go here. So that'll work. Okay, so now I'm going to I'm going to stamp our chick. This little chick works well from the Easter Friends. You know what? We could also do the duck. He would also fit. Maybe I need some drunk duck in my life. I don't know. But he doesn't fit as nicely. I mean, he would, you could fit him in there and that much would show. You could do a chick on one side and the drunk duck on the other. You could do the bunny's face, just the bunny's face. Let's see if that would fit nicely. It would indeed. So what do you think? Should we do bunny? Drunk duck. He's kind of cute, right? Or a purple chick. Vote now. Because he's cut, he, they're going to be in purple, man. I'm doing purple. So he is going to be in Highland Heather. Or maybe he'll be in Fresh Bruno. No, probably Highland Heather. Hmm. Okay. Vote what we want. The chick, the chick, the chick. Everybody says the chick. Okay, well, two people say the chick. Bunny is always the right answer, Tracy. You're such a... Oh, two bunnies, two chicks. Maybe I do one of each. The bunny is pretty stinking cute. Let's see. Where is Mr. Bunny? Nobody is voting for the duck. Now I feel bad for the duck. Okay, well, Mr. Bunny. Bunny, bunny, chick. Oh, you guys aren't helping me. I'm going to do one of each, and we're going to see where we come out. So first, I'm going to start by seeing what color I prefer. That's not going to work. Well, okay. That's the fresh freesia. Chick, bunny, bunny, chick. Okay. Let's call the whole thing off. All right. Uh, I lost my... Oh, there are. Wipes. Chick, hedgehog. Oh, Dana. Dana. You can't be throwing a different animal at me, but the hedgehog would work. <laughs> okay, let's see, hedgehog, cheapers. Bunny. Don't encourage her, Wendy, for the love of God. Okay, I'm going to do a bunny and hope that it fits. Maybe I'll do it this way. I want to make sure he's going to fit. Otter. Janet. Otters aren't for Easter. A ladybug? No. Let's see where this is going, you guys. Okay, I want to see if Mr. Bunny will. <laughs> How's this for awkward stamping? Okay, so Mr. Bunny, and let's try Mr. Chicky. You could do one of each. Like, I have to do two. One on each side. Oh, that is super cute. <laughs> Get it in the field of vision. Okay, I know what's going on. Okay, I moved stuff around today. Hang on, my camera is all crazy. There we go. That's a little bit better. Okay. Elephant. Wendy, goat. Oh, for heaven's sakes, kitten, otter. Now we're just, okay, cows. We're just going to name name various animals, are we? How, actually, where's that? Here's that barnyard set. Where is that one? All the critters. Look, we could do a little lamb. <laughs> I love him. Oh, he could be peeking. Look how cute. All right, focus, Bertram. All right, well, I think we get a bunny on one side and the chick on the other. All right, that's what's going to happen on this little guy. Hi. 
Nerf battle at the library. Who won? Who won? Okay, so I'm going to put Mr. Bunny on one side. You could also use dimensionals. You could use glue, whatever you think. Don't we have a stamp that says, hey, chick? The birthday check is that. Where's that birthday check? It's retiring. Hey, birthday check. Okay, where's the other one? It retired. It was the... Something else with the chickens. Hang on. I thought we had a hey, check. Hey, check. Hang on. Oh, my goodness. How cute. <laughs> I could put hey chick. <laughs> ah, I love it. <sighs> it's fun being neat. Okay, so now on this one I put the little word Easter, you know, in case people didn't know it was Easter. So for that, I actually found, I went into my little tickle trunk of shapes, and I found a whole bazillion of these little white ones. I went, what the heck was that from? And then I went, oh yeah, I remember now. That was from, from Christmas when I did some... A uh, ton of die cutting for my team from the Warm Hugs dies. I would cut out this shape for everybody and it made me a gazillion of these. Okay. Then I thought, well, that's very nice. So if, um, these dies are retiring, but on uh, the stamp set has retired. But uh, anyway, you can get those little circles from that. Or any other of the hole punches we have. But then this shape is slightly bigger and it's stitched. This comes from that triple shape. Don't know what it's called. This one. Uh, wait for it. Mm -hmm -hmm. Hang on. This one. Picture this. So it cuts out all these circles and they are stitched this size. So I have a whole bunch of those hanging around. So I'm going to use that because my little chick is also stitched. So why not? We're going to use that. The Easter, the word Easter, I took from the A Wish for Everything. Or you could just stamp, well no, the word Easter is in that stamp set, but it's way too big. So I'm going to do it on here in the purple with the word Easter. And there's also the word wishes. Um, I was just going with Easter because why not? And that's really goopy, so we'll see what happens here. Easter. Ta-da! Cute. Oh, I came back last year for a time with the matching dyes. A different stamp set did. Uh, there's Warm Hugs, and there is Gruesome Fun. So these work together. The Warm Hugs was with that set that retired, and then this set is retiring, and the dies work with it. And you need it just for this alone. <laughs> okay, Debbie, I used a three-quarter inch strip of white and glued it into my mint macaron. Yep, then use brads to hold. Oh, clever. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, three-quarters seems to be the consensus on different sites that I had checked. Oh, the hay check. Right. Okay. Sorry, Jennifer. Yeah. Yeah. I, I missed the conversation there, but yes, it, it went away. It was a celebration. The Hey Chick was a celebration one. Um, it came back and then the Hey Birthday Chick is current, but is retiring. So this was in the catalog, but it's retiring. So yes, you are correct. All right. Now, do I want the Easter on the bunny or on the chick? I think I want them on the bunny and you can use, let's use a dimensional on this one. Why not? Okay, so put him here. And then, yes, I have a bunch of this ribbon. A gorgeous grape. Uh, this is the Highland Heather, but there is also gorgeous grape. That is gorgeous and grapey. And I haven't used it, but I should. Oh, it's so pretty. Ooh, I like it because it's darker and it's sheer, but I also like this one 
So either one or both would work, honestly. Oh, <laughs> all right. I think I'm going to like the darker one. This one's glitzy. But this one's skinny. Hmm. Well, let's try it. I'm going to cut off like 12 inches of this. Let's see. Let's do it all. It might look too, too thin. What size of circle did you use for the bunny and the chick? Uh, it's one and seven eighths, Debbie. Um, I used the stitched circle, which looks like it's two inches. But when you actually measure the cutout piece, it's... Um, it works out to one and seven eighths, but this piece looks like it's two if you're measuring it. Okay, so we'll try this little bow and see how that works. Of course, you want to be gentle. You don't want to crush your handle. You're welcome. What's the Highland Heather ribbon? What is that Highland Heather ribbon? It's Highland Heather ribbon. I don't understand the question. <laughs> it's Highland Heather. Where'd it go? This one. It's still current, isn't it? Highland Heather. I thought this one carried over. I think it's current right now. Yes, ma'am. Highland Heather half inch grill grain. Mm -hmm. I think I like it with the darker one. How cute is he? Seriously. Right. Put some stuffing in it. As much or as little as you need. They had actually at Costco, they have like Ferrero Rocher eggs for us adults. I've got a kinder egg if you were not an adult. You could just put in, why is it not focusing? Focus. 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 Come on. Focus. Thank you. All right, Don, how cute is that? Have you seen these before? They're so easy to make. You know what? I've got my glare on a little bit too high here. There we go, like that. And or you could just put like the really bad chocolate <laughs> in there. So it would work on, you know, the Easter table. You could put people's names on it. So cute. Yeah, I think I like it better than, I don't know. I like the, I like the darker accent. And maybe I could stamp him in gorgeous grape next time. Looks better in person than in the animal catalog. Yeah, I know. It's really pretty. And it's, it's easy to tie. It's not stiff, like you would think. So that is that little project. Now, what else could I do? Poor little ducky. Nobody, nobody voted Team Duck. Um, what else? Might have to watch the video and try it. Dawn, it's so easy. You take, here, I will recap for Dawn. Take a six by six piece of paper. Score it at two on all sides. So two, 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 two. Snip up to the line, snip down to the line, fold it over. So easy. Ta-da. Takes minutes, really. Once you know what you're doing, you can mass produce these in no time at all. Okay, now that my desk looks like a bomb hit it, now what? Now what do you want to do? It's 734. That was too quick. Make a bigger one with an 11 by 12. I don't want to, Joy. <laughs> I don't have. Really? Why would I want one that big? Dear Lord. Really? That will be a massive basket. Um, okay, I was going to say 12 by 12. Why 11 by 12? Really? You want to do that? So I would score it at four all the way around. Are you serious? How am I going to get a handle big enough? I wonder what I'm going to do with it. Not that I love this piece of paper anyway. I could sacrifice a piece of paper. That would be a really big basket, Joy. Are you crazy? More candy. You want more candy in the basket or you want me to decorate more candy? Make a matching card with the paper. Oh, Marlene. You're killing me, you guys. Um, 
Okay. Okay. She said confidently. All right. Hang on. I just moved all of my. All right. A matching card, you say. All right. I will do that because you asked so nicely. Okay. I got it. I'm totally casing myself. It's okay. I can do that. So I am going to take, and I won't let you see it. You will watch me as I go. If there's room on this desk. Holy crap. Okay. So I'm going to cut a piece of paper of my Simply Marvelous that is three and three quarters by five. Five. By three and three quarters. Yes, you are being good, Jennifer. A big paper basket means more candy. Well, I know, Valerie, but... <sighs> yeah. Okay. Now I need... I need... I'll tell you what I need. What I really, really need. I need this. So, I think I will leave this darker side out. Alternatively, it could go like... Yeah, no, I like the darker side. And we're going to stamp Mr. Bunny... I think I'm going to stick with Highland Heather on this one, though. So this is from the stitched... No, this is from the... Doo -doo -doo -doo. This is from this. Uh, oh, Stitch So Sweetly. It's retiring. Get them while you can, girls. I use this all the time. All the time. Love it. If you don't own it, you're going to miss out. You're going to be crying. You're going to be crying. And then I'll have to say, I told you so. Don't make me be that person. Okay. All right. I'm glad we had this little chat. Okay. Mr. Benny is going to be purple. Card I'm making anyway. Oh, that's not the one I wanted to do. Anyway. Stamp Mr. Bunny. Because everybody likes a purple bunny. Yeah, I guess that's the one I could do. All right. Now, I could do a Happy Easter. I kind of want to... I'm going to emboss this. How crazy am I? Crazy. I want it to be embossed with... Hang on. My favorite retiring embossing folder. Whatever this one is, uh, textured textiles, 3D something. I don't know. I'm going to emboss it. Because why not? All right. Just add a little bit more texture. Oh, how fun is that? Now it just looks like fabric. Gorgeous. Yeah, I could do a bow in the hair for sure. Absolutely. That was my, where is my bunny? Here's, here's one I had done earlier with the bow in the hair. So cute. Maybe he gets a bow, a bow tie, this little guy, because he's a dude. He's a dude rabbit. Okay. Do you send out Easter cards? I do when I remember. But I tend to make them more religious to my religious friends um, or, or friends who observe a religion. I don't know. I'll probably put my foot in my mouth if I don't stop talking right now. So um, I don't go to church. Uh, I'm not Catholic. What am I? I'm united. Whatever that means. I don't go to church. Okay, but I have a lot of friends who are and do. Okay. All right, so there we go like that. Easter treats for sure, cards and occasions. Yeah, Easter treats, yes, but I don't tend to do a lot of cards. 
I don't know why that is. Okay, I'm looking for my three quarter inch strips that I think that's not three quarters of inch. I'll tell you that right now. So the only exercise I got today is uh, getting up to, that's a lie, I worked out, but getting up to get my um, my strips. Okay, that was, hang on, I need a sip of water. Hang on. Ah, very nice. Now saying appendix, oh God. Oh, Melanie. Oh my goodness. Everybody okay at home? Like you got somebody to watch the kids and so on and so forth. I would help you, but you're in a whole other province. Oh girl. Um, I'm going to do, let's see. Uh, I don't love this font. I'm not going to lie. Do I have a nicer font? It just doesn't, I don't know. It's okay. Oh, appendix. I hope it hasn't burst. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. I want this guy over here. Okay. No, I think he's just going to get flat. Like this. Well, we'll be thinking about you, Melanie. Sending, sending healing prayers. And I hope you have a really hot doctor. Oh, I don't like the flags. No, no, no. It doesn't seem appropriate. So now I'm going to go like this. I'll go like that. I don't, okay, I don't like this. Um, okay, hang on one second because I'm melting. That's half the problem. I can't think when I'm so hot. Now, do I have a nicer Easter? Uh... Can you do celebrate? Well, that's a, that's a huge celebrate. Um, hang on. I just want to see if we have another Easter. If you know of another Easter sentiment, let me know. Uh, like a nice happy Easter. I can't think and or read. Anybody got a happy Easter? Needs a grape layer under it. Yeah, it needs, it needs something. And, uh, I'm thinking... For sure to pop up but I wanted to I like a different font so somebody do the work for me okay the paint is so bad I can't walk up right oh god celebrate you has one is that the one I was just looking at let's sell oh celebrate you oh thank you Tracy yes now I would prefer if it was really all on one strip like that but uh happy Easter oh I could do him in a circle or an oval that might be cute. Happy Easter. Cute. <gasps> stop it. Stop it. Okay. Hang on. Scrap. Scrap. Scrap folder. Hang on. Daffodil set. Does it? The daffodil set does? Really? Oh! Daffodils, daffodils. Where are my daffodils? Daffodils. Where are you? Are you in my flower section? No. Daffodils. No, I'm going to try this one, but I don't know where my daffodils went. Tulips. Daffodil daydream. There we go. Oh, Easter blessings. That's a good one too. Okay. But look, this is coming together. This is, this is going to work. Where is some white scrap when you need it? White scrap. Oh my gosh. Everything seems to be a bit of a struggle for me today. Okay. Let's try this. I'm going to stamp this purple scallop oval. Yeah. Right, Tracy? I know. You and me, man. Sharing a brain. Today. I concur. I like this. Because I didn't realize this happy Easter fit in this little guy, but it does. Did this punch carry over? Oh, it's perfection. Did they do that on purpose? I think they did. 
No, I know lots don't, but yeah, no, that's the ticket. I like it. I like it a lot. Does that look like a little bunny tail? No, I want them over here. Maybe this needs to be though. The Highland Heather. Maybe thanks. Let's just see. Let's just see. You know me. I have to try all options and possibilities. So what looks better? Mr. Bunny on the dark or Mr. Bunny on the light or the happy Easter. I kind of like the light not being quite as wow. It does pop though. What do you think? Groovy. Thanks, Trace. Um, it might be too blah. Maybe a little more subtle. And that no, that's pretty dull though. Hmm, the dark, the light. Ah, you guys are killing me. It really comes down to a personal choice, doesn't it? Dark, dark, light, light. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Okay, and then there is an option of stamping it like this. Yes, like Liz says. Let's try this. Donna says dark, Shayla says light. You guys are no help to me whatsoever. So, uh, I could stamp this in gorgeous grape. Like, I'm not kidding when I say I try all of the different permeations, permute, permutations. Is that weird? Might be a little weird. Or is that perfect? Oh, light with the dark gray. Well, that's what I'm thinking, Trace. Yeah, I'm thinking that too. Um, I lost my everything. I lost my white option. Okay, well, we could do it again. Because I don't know where it went. Maybe I'll stamp it in the dark. Uh, this is the grape. Let's stamp it in gorgeous grape. Oh, yeah? The two per the two tone purple? Yeah, we got a few thumbs up on that one. Purple on purple. So this is gorgeous grape on white. Okay, so that seems to be getting a lot of yeses. The dark. The light. The light looks a little washed out in person, honestly. So the purple and purple is getting a lot of votes or it's got to be the dark purple. It's either dark or purple on purple. Got a lot of purple on purples. Okay, I think we're going to go with that then. You don't like that, Hope? No? Purple on purple you don't like? What do you like, Hope? Okay, Wendy says purple. All right. Well, you know what? It's not a life decision. Nobody, nobody. Let's talk ribbon. Um, where is my original card? We got this one. Okay, so how about, let's see. I'm going to do a, a bow. We're moving, we're changing gears for a minute. You like the dark with the white. I'm leaning towards that right now but I get to change my mind. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a bow. See, I'm off to the races now. 7.49. I'm like, okay, now we're just going to keep on playing. I'm going to make a tiny little bow tie for Mr. Ben Ben. I'm going to make it in the gorgeous grape. That's super thin. What day is, okay, Tuesday. I was like, oh, do I have my volunteer work tomorrow? I, uh, I volunteer at Robin Hood Association. Um, with my disabled adults. Oh, so cute. And that's Thursday. So, okay. Oh, tomorrow I'm at my dad's. Oh boy. Okay. And I have to be there at seven 30 in the morning. Okay. So which way am I going to do this? This way? And then this way. Try that too. Here's my Mr. Bunny bow tie. Love it. Okay. It's going to be a little shorter. <laughs> I'm a winner. I'm a winner, baby. I'm a winner. Donna, I don't know what that co that comment is referring to. Oh, that's so cute. 
I'm a winner or I have a winner. The bow is adorable, right? We can dress him up all fancy. He's a fancy bunny. Fancy little bunny. <laughs> I love him. I like it with the purple, and since it's my show, I get to choose. Um, I'm going with the white. Because, come on, how cute is that? So, like, if you did like this, this is my vote. Cute as that is, I like dark. I like white. White? I like white. I'm doing it. You guys can make yours the purples, okay, when you make yours now. And then this, I think I'm going to pop it up on dimensionals if I can find them under this chaos. Chaos has ensued. And there's only one dimensional left. <laughs> one. Okay. Maybe one. Look how many pairs of scissors does one girl need in one show? Apparently three. You like the white? Okay, Chris. Dark white. Yeah. That's what I'm going with. I mean, there's no wrong. Right? Now what you could know, I was gonna say you could put a little pom pom for his little tail, but it, it is behind his body more. So five. Five. Tracy. What do you mean five? Don't just throw out random things. Look how cute that is. Happy Easter. <laughs> this one should have a bow in the hair. And it could be the girl bunny. Huh? And then this bow would have to go, though. But you could make it a boy and a girl. Oh, five, five pairs of scissors. Okay, thank you. Yes, one, two, three, four. Uh-huh, five. All right, do I need any of the big ones? I got two of the big ones, too. Let's do that. Look, we got lots of scissors. And that's just what's not in my drawer. What else have I got? I got more. Do I need more? <laughs> I got more. When you have enough in-person... Uh, in person things, you need lots of scissors. <laughs> the purple on purple works if you white and bossy sentiment. Ah, yes. True that, Wendy. Yep. Little flower in the hair, indeed. <gasps> we have those little flowers. Stop it. Where are those things? Hang on. Oh, Tracy. Oh, look, and it's purple. Oh. Oh, 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 stop it. Okay, this one's annoying me though. Give me a glue dot. Somebody give me a glue dot. I love stamping up. I love that we have all the toys. She's like a Hawaiian bunny now. Oh, how cute is she? <laughs> <laughs> and maybe we put the bow over here next to the chick. You know, because he needs some love too. I don't know. Wherever you want to put the bow. But look, maybe it could just go on the top. I don't know. Maybe this doesn't get a bow. But how cute is that? If I keep it in the field of vision. She's adorable. I've never used them, Tracy. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Okay. But maybe I will. I have a week left, right? Okay. Let's go back to our card. I think it's done. It's 7.54. I'm a couple minutes early, but that's okay. Um, I think I'll call it anyway. There's no point in sitting around if uh, it'll take me another hour to clean off my desk. But there you go. There's some Easter ideas, right? Little baskets, um, our two by two boxes, our curvy, whatever this is called, curvy keepsake diet, curvy, curvy somethings. Are these? I don't know if they're still current. Anyway, I like my little bunny card. So this is the one that I cased from this and from this, right? So you just change out the paper. It's a cute set. You guys should get it if you don't already have it. This is like my favorite card. Fun, right? So fun. Um, okay, listen up. If you're demonstrators... Two more days, you get to order from the new catalog. Don't forget to order catalogs, right? We always forget. Uh, mailing selector, 
for all you demos. You have one more day to get your mailing selectors done so that you can mail catalogs directly to your customers from Stampin' Up. Um, you get to do the pre-order August or April 1st, and we don't know what we get to pre-order until April 1st. So go into the Happening Now current promotions, and there should be a PDF to look at there. Um, customers, you don't get to see the stuff if you want to be a demonstrator so you can see the stuff and buy the stuff in April. I would love to have you, my girl gang. Reach out to me and we will hook you up with that starter kit and you can get the pre-order items in your starter kit. Um, what else? Some prices go up April 1st. Shipping goes up on April 1st. Uh, so if you want to place an order now, I mean dimensionals, something like that, that's going up from 550 to I want to say six dollars so I mean it's only 50 cents but if you need to buy a bunch of basics tomorrow tonight tomorrow are the day to do it um, you might as well save some money especially if you're demonstrators you're going to use that stuff anyway get it now well it's a little bit cheaper card stock is going up um, so yeah get what you can well it is the lower price and the lower shipping 756 I am going to call it right there I'm going to go hang out with my people and maybe get some ice for my back uh, yeah from working out shouldn't have done it today did it anyway <laughs> that's it um what else friday what's happening friday friday i have my class what class is it i forget flowing flowers so that's friday that's all i know i will catch you guys on monday if i'm not seeing you on friday put an order in this afternoon excellent good debbie some of that like dimensionals are on on low inventory so you know get on it all right. I will see some of you on Friday. I will see the rest of you on Monday. Have a fabulous rest of your week and we will talk to you soon. Thanks guys. Bye.